Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's topic, we're going to explore what's your role in the new earth. And I've put the date here 2030. I do believe that the 30s is gonna be a much better decade. And I do think that that's gonna be the time when we're all fully immersed in the new earth. Now what is this new earth that so many different people keep talking about? I've learnt about what the New Earth is largely through Eckhart Tolle and I suggest you read his book. I'm pretty sure it's just called A New Earth. Uh, I've read The Power of Now of course many times and A New Earth I've read a couple of times as well. It's a really fantastic book. There's also Diana Cooper who speaks about, I'm pretty sure her book is about 2032. Now I haven't read the book but I have heard numerous lectures by her on this topic. There's also Brian Weiss, who has done a lot of work on future progressing people. So he does past life regressions and he also takes people into the future to see, all right, what, what is the future gonna be like? He gets them in a sort of hypnotized state and um, has done some amazing work in terms of what the future is going to be like. So from everything I've been reading and studying, the future is really going to be really very good. And I know that we're all going through quite a tough time at the moment, but uh, it's what Louise Hay talks about that when you clean, say for example, a dirty pan, um, you know, when you scrub in the pan and you clean and, and all the gunk comes up to the surface, right? I think we're kind of at that stage where the gunk is really well and truly coming up to the surface, um, but the pot is being cleaned, okay? So things are being healed, things are being cleaned and, we have to, anyone who's tuning into this reading, you have come here because you want to know, okay, well, what, how, how am I going to help? What am I going to be doing? Um, I've obviously incarnated at this time for some reason. So hopefully this reading is going to touch on your purpose in the new earth, what it is that you've come here to do. The other thing I wanted to say is that don't worry if, say, for example, at this time, you feel that, you know, I'm not doing much. Or, you know, you feel like, gosh, I'm, I feel like I'm on the sidelines or I'm not working or, you know, um, when are things going to shift for me? Feel very privileged and lucky to be in that situation because you're probably, you're probably being saved in many ways and um, you're probably meant to heal and get ready for the time when you are going to be doing your thing, okay, which is coming, right? So that could be a few years from now, it could be a few months from now, it could be a few years from now, it could be in 2030. I'm not sure about the exact time frame. Uh, the other message that has come through as I was looking at the cards, I was studying all the cards just now, two messages. One is to go slow, uh, massive message of coming, going slow because you drew the Knight of Pentacles in the exact same position twice, that's pretty amazing. Uh, as you can see, I've used a different deck each time. So to get two of the same is, is quite incredible. The other thing um, that I noticed is we also got two of the same. Uh, we've got two Ace of Swords appearing. So again, we are going to need to use our mental faculties. We are going to need to use logic, common sense, intuition, intelligence, whatever it is you've got up in your mind, <laughs> use it, right? Like it's, it's all needed right now. So, um, and yes, that means studying and researching and reading and learning. And um, it, it very much means being open, keeping your ears open, okay? Um, the Swords is about air and it is about listening as much as it is about talking. Okay, so why don't we get into the readings? I'm really excited to do these. Every single group is fantastic this time. So if you feel drawn to group one, pick group one. If you're drawn to group two, pick group two, or of course, take group three. Whichever one is the one that you would like, then go for that and I will see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, you're in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Now, today we are gonna answer the question, what's your role in the new earth 2020? And I do think the new earth is being prepared right now. Uh, as with any of my readings, the other thing I wanted to say is please use your discernment. Please um, take on board what resonates. Please discard what doesn't resonate, okay? I really 
want you to you know um, see what message in here is needed for you always remember you're the chief executive officer of your own life okay and you have advisors you have astrologers or coaches or people that you like to tune into that's very nice but be discriminating take on board what you like discard what you don't like okay uh, so we have as our first card here for you the eight of pentacles that is a beautiful card I always like to go through these nice and slowly so that you get a real chance to see what's coming through and to see what your intuition says to you okay tune in have a look have a look at what's he holding in his hands you know, who is this who is this older person is this some aspect of me right uh, what how else can you look at these cards you know and you can look at the symbolism of you, know, you can press pause on the video and you can have a look at look at that um, is that a ram there right what, what kind of there's three of them right it's all these things right maybe three is a significant number for you and all that all that type of thing so start to see how the divine is speaking directly to you because it is speaking to you at all times okay um, but it's also fun to use an interpreter it's also fun to tune into a reading like this now we have the tower here one of the most exciting cards in the deck so <laughs> You've certainly picked a good group here. I do like the tower because sometimes I like things to be shaken up, you know. That's important. Okay, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. Now I was guided to do six tarot, three gold cards and one sun card. Got the five of swords in reverse and let's take a look at what else we've got now the gold cards we have got these are regular playing cards but i love using these um, because they're just simple and to the point and i read all of these upright of course so we've got the eight of now this would be swords in a tarot deck spades we have got the nine of pentacles diamonds these are terrific cards, by the way, guys. I'd, any, any one of these this time, I'd be super happy to draw. And we have got the Nine of Hearts Cups. Now, let us take a look. We have got Sun in the second house. Okay, so what's your purpose going to be in the new earth? What are you going to be doing? What are you going to be helping others to do? I see that your role is really incredibly significant and your role is significant during the changes possibly even during the changes that we're going through right now okay we're going to have a lot of change energy happen in the 20s this decade is going to be full of a lot of change energy but a lot of change energy going on right now we're going to have a lot more coming up um, definitely at least in the next four years the astrology is for sure on that I've been checking sidereal Vedic Western everything next four years epic guys um, I do see that you're gonna have a role in helping people change and transition okay it'd be worth listening to Louise Hay she has a two or three hour I think it's maybe two hours uh, audio that's called change and transition I might have listened to that audio I don't know how many several hundred times <laughs> but um, that one audio I listened to a lot uh, I used to listen to it every day on the train ride home from work it was such an important lecture that I wanted to internalize and embody to the point that I had it memorized uh, I, I listened to that a lot so I do think that you're going to be helping people. I really do think that. I really do think that you're going to be helping people to get on their path. I think you're going to be helping people to find their way to what it is that they really want to do in life. Um, another thing that's going to be happening in this new earth is that we're all going to get the opportunity to do what we really want to do now this sounds if this sounds small or trivial it's not it's so huge that it's unbelievable you think about all these industrial jobs all these jobs that people would not do if they weren't being paid 
right? There's so many jobs out there that are mind-numbingly boring that people don't want to be doing. And yet, if you take all of that away from these people, they're kind of wondering, what do I do with myself? Like, what do I want to do? Who am I? What am I all about? I do think the massive part of your role is actually going to be to help people find their passion in life, right? So I do see that you're, you know, you've got light working gifts within you. You've got coaching abilities. You've got, maybe you're an astrologer. Maybe you're, um, you know, you're a Reiki master or, you know, you're a light worker of some kind. You've got internal gifts and you've got the ability to help people figure out what it is they're meant to do to earn money. Uh, I do think that's a big part of your purpose. If that doesn't sound right to you, maybe you will be finding that place for yourself. You'll be finding out what really makes you tick. But I'm, I'm definitely getting a strong energy here that I'm getting a strong energy here that you're going to be helping to, in a very kind of practical and material way, usher in the new earth. Okay, that is a massive role that you've got. You are going to be part of the change energies, right? Uh, I remember when I worked in the corporate world, there was this whole area called change management. And there were coaches and people who worked in that field who, you know, they, they, they were vital. They were really, really important people. Um, you know, their consultancies devoted to, to change management. It's such a massive area. I'm getting a very strong uh, financial feel, as I say. We've got a huge amount of pentacles and earth energy here. So this is, this is definitely about money. This is definitely about... Um, and I think personally, you'll have money. I <laughs> think you'll be fine, okay? So if you're struggling for money right now and you're kind of wondering, how am I going to earn money? I think you're definitely going to be provided for. I think you're going to be very well provided for. Um, don't be concerned about these two being upside down, by the way, because, and now why am I saying that you're going to be well provided for? You are, it, but it's going to be, it's going to be a slow growth. It's these cards here. I'll tell you the cards that are showing me that your money situation, if it's not good now, if you're not working now, or if things aren't good for you right now, please don't worry because you've got all of this here. You've got a huge amount, whoops, sorry, I went off camera there. Um, you've got a huge amount of energy that's showing me that financial stability uh, is very much something that's gonna be part of your world if it's not right now, okay? So that will be sorted. You will you'll be guided as to what you need to do. So if you're not getting much guidance, if you're being guided to rest and don't do too much, follow that but you will be shown when you need to put the work in, okay? You'll be strongly shown, you'll attract opportunities, you'll be invited, it will happen for you, okay? Um, but I do think that you're meant to help people figure out what it is that they want to do with their lives. So this is a really interesting reading. I haven't done one that's quite like this. Um, if you are in a situation where you're kind of, you're feeling like you're far away from taking on this role, by the way, there's also a bit of love here for you as well. You've got a good thing. I'm telling you, this is really, really good spread. Um, now these two cards, let me, okay, I'm jumping around. I'm jumping around. So let's, I'm gonna park these for the moment. We're coming back to that because there's, there's one card here that I'm not pleased with. I'm gonna talk about that. It's the only one. Um, so if things aren't happening for you, why don't we do it now since we're here? What do I see here? Why do I say that this is not a great card? This is the Eight of Swords and this is, basically saying that if the money situation, if the abundance is being blocked for you right now and you helping people get on their path, and that is very much these two cards and that, we'll talk about that. If it's blocked, it's not happening for you right now. There's something going on where you're feeling like a victim possibly, or you're feeling trapped or you're feeling stuck, but that's actually an illusion, okay? Now in the tarot, it's a really interesting card. It has a lady and she's got all these swords around her and she's kind of loosely bound. She can actually walk out of that situation uh, if she really chooses to or if she wants to. She can, she can actually get out of this victim mentality. might take a bit of work. It might take a bit of, 
you know, self-development work or whatever, it might take a bit of time is what it might take, okay? Uh, this is, there is a go slow energy here. Take your time, okay? Um, if you are in any difficult situation, it's either saying take your time or it's saying, and if you're conscious of this, if you're conscious, do you know what, I, I am feeling like a bit of a victim and I can see through it and I know, and I know I'm not really trapped. I see everything, but why is it going so slow? It's going to take time, okay? So you're ahead of the game is possibly what's going on with this card here, that you are, you see everything. You just like, you know that, yeah, man, why is this so slow? Why is this taking time? I see everything. I know I see through things, right? There's that possibly going on here. It's going to take time, okay? Uh, and, and another thing that we sometimes have to be conscious and aware of, and and this is to do with like the family that is humanity. We've all got to move together, okay? Um, we've all got to evolve together. There are going to be stragglers things are going to take time, okay? So th things will take time. But let me come to these two because this is really important. And this is, this is linking in with the whole why do I say that you're going to help other people find their purpose? Because this is very much a card of easing out of the rat race. Now, either you yourself are going to be easing out of the rat race, but I suspect you're going to be helping other people do that, okay? Once you've done it, say, for example, you'll help others to do it. Now, this in reverse, I'm not at all concerned about. Why am I not concerned about it? Because, because I, I kind of think, and this, this could indicate, this, this links in strongly with this, this fact that you're going to help people ease out of the rat race. This is a conflict card, right, typically. Um, and it's a territory card and it can be a sneakiness card. There can be a lot of things that are going on here, but I'm really seeing this in the context of this reading as being corporate rat race, right? And that when it's upside down, there's a, you're easing out of it. You're getting out of the corporate rat race and that's feeling really good. Why is that feeling really good? And that and this is linked in with that, basically, because this is that kind of big money type thing. This is also indicating if you're doing some kind of spiritual business or light working business where you're using your gifts, your clients are going to be coming from this industrial corporate thing that's not working out. These are going to be mature people who, you know, they're trying to figure out you know, they've got all this wealth and this money and, you know, and they're, and they're going to pay you well, right? They're going to they're gonna love to pay you for your art or for what it is that you do, for that special thing that you do. So that's another way of reading these. But um, overall, this is such a great spread. And really, the only card that I haven't really talked about so much are these two. This is really the icing on the cake. You are going to, in the new earth, and let's say, is that 2030 or is that, you know, in a few months, a few years or however long? What's here for you is very much uh, a lifestyle that you love, okay? And that's got a quality of ease and effortlessness to it. You're not going to have to slave for the money. You are going to have the money. You're going to have the abundance. And I don't know, is it money or what? A lot of people are saying that um, the financial system is going to change and that we're not going to have money and things like that. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, I, I don't know that all of that's going to totally dismantle anytime soon. What I see though is that when it comes to the energy of you sustaining yourself, uh, you will be able to do that. Okay, things are going to work out. So there's this is just great energy, guys, and I think that a big message is go slow, take your time, look after your health, um, get ready. Okay, massive get ready energy here, which is take your time, go slow, get ready because you are going to be busy. Okay, you're going to be earning money and you're going to be helping people um, ease, out of, ease out of their situation. So I do hope this has been a good reading for you. Uh, take what resonates, discard what doesn't resonate. If you'd like to try one of the other groups, you're very welcome to do that. I'd love to read your comments, so please do let me know how you get on with this below and I look forward to seeing you next time. 
Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Now, as with all of my readings, please take what resonates and please discard what doesn't resonate. Knight of Swords upright. Beautiful card. I like to go slowly so that you have a bit of time to check in with your intuition. See what the images bring for you. Look at that. He's, you know, fending off all these uh, wands around him. You know, look at the, his face. Look at the color blue. What do all these things mean to you, right? So use your intuition as you go along and see what pops into your mind. Okay. We've got the strength card here. Beautiful card. I just love this. Strength, and I always think courage, because look at that. She's got her hands right in the mouth there with the teeth and all. <laughs> I mean, that's a lion, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'd have that kind of courage. Well, maybe. I don't know. If I, if I got to know the lion, if the lion got to know me, you know. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Knight of Pentacles. We've had a Knight of Pentacles already, would you believe? So strong, strong energy coming through. We're definitely being guided. We're definitely being given... Some good messages at this time. Okay, we've also got the Eight of Cups. I know this card well. This has been coming up a little bit in the readings lately. Uh, I think this has been maybe two or three times. It's an important card. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords upright. By the way, that was the um, Seven of Wands, Rods, Batons, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and we've also got, I was guided to do six tarot and I was guided to do three gold cards. So these are just ordinary playing cards. I really do like using them. They all came in the upright position. This is very interesting because, you know, with any card, look at that. If I turn it upside down, it looks the same, right? Whereas this, if I turn that upside down, it does not look the same because we've got this lovely thing in here. And I haven't drawn this before. Look at this. It says... If we will focus on that, the Lord of the Cards. So, guys, you have drawn the Lord of the Cards, okay? <laughs> that is pretty spectacular. So, you got those there, and then you have got Sun in the first house. We're working with the Sun today, uh, and we're working with the question. What's your role in the new earth 2030? Okay, now this new earth might materialize in the next few months, in the next few years, 2030s. I do think the 2030s is going to be an amazing decade. I do think the 20s is going to be transition energy. There's going to be a lot of change. There's going to be ups and downs, upheaval, all kinds of things. But regardless of any of that, you've come here to do very important work. And in terms of your role and your purpose, in the new earth. I see that you're going to be helping people transition uh, and you're going to do it, you're going to do it, you're going to help people transition by transitioning yourself. Okay. So if you sort of say to yourself, I'm not in a position to help anyone, right? Everything I say that you're going to help people do, you're going to do. Okay, so you're going to do it first, but you're definitely going to help people. This is amazing energy, what we've got here. I, I really love this reading. You're an incredible person for a start. You're here to shine. You're born to shine. Okay, you're very unique. You're very special. You are going to shine. You are going to figure out how to be yourself at all times under all circumstances. You're going to learn how to have an opinion, how to respectfully hold an opinion without it, say, for example, offending other people. Um, you're going to work out ways of, of how to shine, of how to be your true self. You're, you're going to figure that out. Okay, and I know sometimes when we've got other planets around our sun or close to our sun, so in your actual chart, uh, and this did come up when I was looking at your... When I was looking at this spread earlier, I did come up with a couple of things. I've come up with, you've definitely got in your actual chart, whoever I'm reading for, whoever's come to this, I suspect you've got some Mars, Saturn. You've got some stop-start energies that you're dealing with. You also might have 
some things clipping your sun, okay? You might have some things clipping the rays of your sun, uh, which is why I say things like, it's important for you to have your unique opinion and it's important for you to, to be strong with that and to, to have an opinion, to recognize, you know, it's all right for me to have an opinion. Um, I'm different to other people or whatever that is. But, you know, by me being myself, it's going to help other people be themselves, okay? Um, you're definitely going to be a role model for people. You're definitely going to lead. You're definitely going to, you've got a phenomenal role uh, in the new earth. I just hope I can express it. Okay, now when I said earlier about the fact that you're going to help people transition, we're all doing a lot of letting go, okay? We're all doing a lot of walking away. We're all doing a lot of, uh, you've got it here twice, okay? These are both massive energies of, um, this is emotionally, people are walking away, right? So either you are walking away from something or you have walked away from something or you you're building experience in this and you're gonna be able to help others make these leaps and transitions. Now, this is also a card of moving away. This is a very positive card, in fact, even though it doesn't look like it, it kind of looks depressing the way she's hunched over and you know they're clearly going away there, you know, um, but I've read quite a bit about this card and in many ways it's extremely positive. Okay, this one, um, yeah, how do I feel about this one? I've drawn it so many times over the course of my life. Um, Eight of Cups, hey. It's a card of walking away. And there's emotion there. It's, it's not an easy card. I will say this is a bit of a challenging one. But this is a, this is a card of, of successfully doing it, of successfully walking away, of successfully learning your lessons, of successfully figuring a lot of stuff out. And you will help people do these things, okay? You really, you're such a source of light and you're such a, such a beacon of light, such a source of strength for other people. You may not realize it. You may not, you might think, you know, am I really? Like, you are, <laughs> okay? Um, you really are. You'd be surprised if you could hear what your friends say about you and um, you, you'd, be, you'd be pretty amazed, all right? You might not think that you do much, but you do, okay? Uh, we've got the Knight of Pentacles coming in here. This is really asking you to go slowly at this time. There's a massive go slow energy that's come through, um, but it's just what's needed, okay? Now, especially for you, and I, this is coming through with the stop start, the Saturn Mars in your chart. And it'd be really interesting to hear in the comments below. Let me know if you've got strong Saturn Mars or, or any of that kind of, or, or you just, maybe you haven't seen your chart and you feel like that's how my life goes. My life is always like this, that, you know, I get a burst of energy, but then I have to go really slowly. And then I get a burst of energy and then it's slow. And then it's like this kind of stop, start, stop, start. You might have that feel um, to life, but the massive speed of the Knight of Swords here. We've also got you battling off other people okay um, and this is why I say this thing about opinion because anytime you hold one particular opinion you're gonna have all these rods coming in here you're gonna have all these people want to argue with you and, and all that kind of thing right so stand strong okay this <laughs> is what is being said here stand strong defend truth okay very much you know what the truth is. You know what your truth is, okay? And just stand strong and be strong with that, right? Um, and there's nothing wrong with a bit of healthy doubt. There's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, you, you might say, well, what is true? I don't know what's true. It's okay. It's okay to not know. It's okay to have an opinion and be having to say, for example, fight other people or whatever it is, you know, that's, that's fine. Maybe you're having to do that. And you're not 100% sure in, in what it is that you think or whatever that is, right? That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. From what I see, I, I think you, whatever it is that you are, um, 
Whatever it is that you're fighting for, if you are fighting for something, I think you being you is, is the best answer. And quite frankly, from, from this card alone, in the upright position, because you'll see it, it, it does appear in, in, in group three. Um, because I've seen all of these beforehand. I, I study them briefly beforehand. In group three, this is reversed. You've got it upright. You've got the truth on your side. You don't have to doubt. I promise you. You're like, and you've got the sun in the first house. To me, you know, I, I do feel like um, you're going to be some kind of role model in this new earth. And you are going to show people the way. And you are going to show people the way with your thinking, with your thoughts, with what you know, with your mind. You've got an amazing mind, no question. So that is for sure. Now, you might be wondering, you might be wondering, I'm going through a period where I'm unemployed. How am I going to do all of this? I haven't got any money. Money is so super slow that it's ridiculous, right? You might be going through a really tough situation. I understand that. I feel like the divine is coming in really strong saying, don't worry, I'm going to take care of you. Okay, and it might not look like I'm taking care of you and you don't have money to fall back on and things are tight and things are tough. Okay, um, but divine is, is with this definitely saying, do not worry. Okay, it, it's going to come in. So and it might take time to come in. It might be we're talking, you know, the 2030s, right? But it's going to come in. Okay, and maybe money has changed a lot by then. Maybe things have transformed a bit. I'm not sure about that. But what I know, the other thing I know, and this is perhaps the most beautiful card you've got as well. I mean, they're all beautiful. I love all, I love this entire spread. Um, everything's upright and everything's fantastic here. But for me, I, I'm loving this seven of cups uh, the most, seven of hearts. In this context here, it's very much saying that you have got all the opportunities in the world coming your way you're going to have, not only are you going to have abundance, but you're going to have many, 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 many opportunities come. And it might be really tough right now because you might be thinking, wow, you know, I haven't met new people. I haven't, you know, it's hard for me to change job or get a job or any of that. I know, but there is going to come a time coming, coming soon. Okay. Uh, and it, as I say, it might take time. I, I'm not sure. I can't give you an exact time, but there is coming a time for you. You are going to have opportunities galore, like I cannot even tell you. Uh, opportunities in love, in work, in what it is you want to do, in adventure, in, I mean, just like, you know, chances to have fun, chances to be yourself, chances to express your full self. That is really, really, really coming up for you. So, uh, I want you to stay positive about the future. It, it, I know we're going through tough times right now, but honestly, it is transforming. It's transforming and there's beautiful energies out there, even right now. So, uh, and you've manifested that on the table. I mean, look at that. You've manifested this for a start. This is a Leo card as well. So this this is Leo. This is This is the king, right? Uh, this is, you know, it's, it's love and romance and creativity. You've, you've totally manifested that right here. So it's, if you're not seeing it now, don't worry, it's coming in. It's in your vibrational atmosphere and it's, it's wanting to materialize. So don't worry. Well, it's going through a bit of a pickle, but we're, we're going to come through and we're going to be good. All right. So I really hope this has been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how you get on if, if you um, enjoyed this. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the question. I've got it written down here. What's your role in the new earth 2030? And guys, as always, I want you to use your own intuition as we go along. Please make sure you take on board any messages that resonate or that you like, and please discard anything that you don't like or that's not working out, okay? So just always, you know, remember that you are the CEO of your own life 
and that you, you will have advisors come and go, you will have astrologers come and go, coaches come and go, etc., etc. And it's up to you to choose, okay, what message do I need right now? What should I discard? Okay, so we've got the magician card there, terrific way to start any reading, right? I absolutely love that card. You've got a page of pentacles, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card as well, a little squirrel. Knight of Wands. I guess that's a little. Is that a rabbit or a hare? What's the difference? I should Google that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's have a look here. Oh, I love this. Ten of Pentacles. Lovely depiction as well. Little family, right? How nice. Love the Ten of Pentacles card. I mean, every single set this time has just been amazing. I've loved all of them. And now this is a real welcome, beautiful card. It looks bad. Ten of Swords reversed. When it's reversed, we love that it's reversed because these swords are going to fall out. This is a real signal. If this is up this way, mm, sometimes not as good, depending on the energy of, and the context. Uh, this can be a bad card but uh, in its upside down position it's always a welcome thing okay we love having uh, that card in its upside down position it means that you have really conquered something you've really um, you have really overcome something massive we've got the ace of swords in reverse as well okay now we've got so i was guided to do six tarot all different decks um, three gold cards playing cards i mean that's just beautiful <laughs> right you've got the queen of hearts you've got the two of pentacles you've got the king of cups absolutely gorgeous and you've got sun in the fifth house okay what do we have going on here, group number three? Well, do you know, it's pretty amazing. I didn't think that this would come up particularly, but it has done. And it, did, it does seem to be coming up on this channel quite a little bit. Um, Twin Flame. <laughs> I do think in terms of what's your role in the New Earth 2030. Now, this could be coming up for you in a few months, a few years, 2030. It could be, I mean, I think the 2030s are going to be glorious across the board for everybody. I think by then we should have... Um, the earth should have cleared and cleaned up quite a lot and uh, you know things things should be really quite good because we haven't incarnated to just come here and have a terrible time right equally though we haven't come here to just have a holiday either you know we've wanted to get strong we incarnate because we want to get strong we want to get better at something we want challenges we want to improve right uh, so you know we come to do the right amount of soul growth and soul work but we also come to have a good time as well of all the three groups you have come i do believe that you're incarnated here to experience the height of love uh i think i think that's the 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 path that that you've got the other two groups are a bit more they've come to do some quite serious work you know um rebuilding and and and, and transforming and uh you know working i got more of a working feel from the first two groups you've come here your work is going to be that of being in love that's going to be your massive contribution to uh, the collective consciousness that through experiencing and enjoying the height of love with another person you're going to spread that everywhere you go you know and imagine you meet your twin say for example um you you are going to meet your twin okay so if you're a queen you're going to meet your king if you're a king you're going to meet your queen and of course you know if whatever gender you are and if you want to do the same sex thing yes you will meet your counterpart is what this is saying okay um how in whatever way that 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 you know you want that to be you're going to meet that one person who the two of you is going to it's going to be your mission this is a real twin flame thing right it's going to be your mission to go around the world and spread your love just by being just by inviting people for dinner or maybe you rescue a dog or whatever it is but as you're being as you're doing your life you are gonna 
spread love and joy uh, to the whole world. We've got the sun in the fifth house here. This is very much a card spread of, of, of romance and love and, and twin flame. It's quite amazing that this is coming up. I noticed that in the last, I think, three, four readings or however many readings, this twin flame concept is coming up um, quite a bit. And I know that some of you are working through this. I did work with a handful of you last year, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, where this was certainly um, you know, something that we looked at. So I think that you're going to meet your counterpart. I think you're going to be in love. Um, if not in love with another person, then you are going to partner up with the divine. You are going to partner up with uh, an angelic team or, you know, you're going to get closer to God in ways that you haven't before. You're going to have um, beautiful things and realms open up within yourself. Perhaps some telepathic abilities are going to be restored or, um, and I see you using all of that very responsibly and uh, you know I, 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 the energy here is, just, is very good okay um, two of diamonds which I believe is um, pentacles there might be some juggling there might be some and you know it's quite interesting that that is coming up here with the magician because we've got this infinity symbol here I know I'm pretty sure it's on the two of pentacle cards that there's a sort of um, there's an infinity symbol there I'm pretty sure the magician yes I did this what, what I was just saying about your you're gonna have gifts open up within you uh, you're gonna have spiritual gifts open up within you or abilities I do see that because of all this love, you won't be able to help it. Uh, and, and you're going to use it responsibly. And you're not going to be using it just to make money, <laughs> right? Because, um, because that's going to be taken care of. Okay, so I think your money side of things is just going to be taken care of. You're not, going to, you're not going to be so interested in money. I think at the moment, you are working hard. You're kind of squirreling away and you're trying to get something off the ground or you're working and, you know, but it, this is in the reverse position. I am getting a feel that whatever it is that you're doing now may not be the thing that's going to bring you the big bucks, but the big bucks are coming, okay? Um, I do feel like you are... And it, 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 this might be a stepping stone. It might. I'm not saying don't do this and don't put effort into this. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying do it and put your all into what it is that you're doing now. But that big money, uh, I'm. I'm not 100% sure exactly how that's coming in for you, but it's coming. That's what I know. I know that you're going to be financially supported and taken care of. You're not going to have to worry about money. What you are going to be doing is. Because see, when you've got the magician, money's not the most exciting thing that you can materialize, okay? It's like, and money is good and it's an enabler and it's wonderful and it's helpful, but it's not, it's like, it's like a genie turns up and says, you know, you can, you can manifest anything you want. And I mean, think about all the internal gifts and things that you could wish for as opposed to money. You could, you could ask for a million bucks, but you could also ask for, um, you know, accurate clairvoyance or accurate clairaudience or, you know, the ability to do telepathy or remote viewing. I mean, I don't know, whatever internal things that you you might be interested in. Uh, I feel like... I feel like some new powers or something's going to open up for you. And I think you're going to use that as a part of now, is it healing or is it creativity? It could be both, but I'm getting creativity. I think you're an incredibly creative person. And I think that you're going to use these abilities and things that open up for you to, in a, in a very creative way. Uh, and this will progress. I mean, you've got the Knight of Wands here, but this will, this will progress. This will be like, you know, the King of Wands. You'll, of course, graduate to that. No question. Um, because you've got these, you've got the king and queen here, and, and I mean, your creative ability, I feel like that, that will just continue. Because also, look at this, you've got this son in the fifth. I mean, it's just without question. So I think creatively, you're going to do amazing, amazing, amazing work. And that is, 
love and romance and all that beautiful stuff yes is, is Lincoln in there because creative people are like this you know um, yeah it's just beautiful okay now what have we got carrying on here twin flame yeah okay you've gone through some bad experiences and relationships and you might be very skeptical of the possibility of this you might think yeah right as if that's going to happen for me because my experience of relationships has been this <laughs> okay you're like pretty much i fall in love i end up with someone and this is what i end up with you know and um i'm telling you now that's going to end that's these swords are coming out you are going to heal some massive heartbreak once and for all and i think you've been through a lot of cycles of love and i think they haven't worked out for you and i think that that's going to become a thing of the past uh you've got a new epoch a new era a new everything a new 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 opening up for you it's very 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 good we've also got a two here i mean that couldn't be more the number two which is a twin flame two number um, okay it's pentacles but i mean it's it's still a two there so there's definitely a, a strong two type theme now this is also interesting why is this in the reverse Position and is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing at all. I do love this card. I love this card. I love the swords. I must say, I just, to me, it's uh, it's insight, it's ideas, it's skill. It is, and this is this is why I think this is in the upside down position, because when some of these things open up for you which are going to open up because you are going to heal your heart totally you're going to heal your heart totally uh, these things are going to open up for you more gifts internal gifts and in internal riches are going to open up for you you're going to use it responsibly that's what this is saying your mind isn't going to be able to take it over or use it for profit okay you're not going to be doing that um, because you are going to relax into letting God provide for you. Okay, you're going to learn that art of letting money be there for you. I remember somebody said that to me in a psychic reading. This is like in 2006 or something. I do not go to psychics often. Very, very, very rarely. Um, I only consulted her twice in my life. Anyway, one time she said to me in the first reading, she said, you just need to learn how to let money be there for you. And that was a very difficult lesson for me to learn. But I think I'm kind of letting that happen now. And um, it, it does happen, okay? You might wonder and worry, like, how, yeah, how is the money coming in? Where is it coming? Let it be there for you. It will be there for you, okay? Uh, it's not easy. I know. I know how hard it can be. And I know we think that we have to, it's all on our shoulders. And that if we're not working hard and squirreling away, if I'm not doing that, well, where's, where's the money coming from? trust it'll be there okay because the main thing is while you're on this earth you have got to let this out don't cheat the world of who you are because that's why you've incarnated right if you don't shine and if you don't be you this time all of us lose Okay, and I know that sounds really weird and you, you might be like, but I, I live on my own, I don't socialize, nobody knows me. What do you mean, right? Believe me, like you are so important to this whole that I can't, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know how to say it. Like, you are, um, wow, this is a good reading. Yeah, guys, you're just, you're very special. I really hope that, that you understand that. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I think we're at the 15 minute mark. I'm going to, I could talk about this for hours. You're just amazing. I, I, just, I don't even, I'm running out of words here. I think that might be part of your purpose to, you see, that's love, to experience more of that love where words are just meaningless, right? You're going to experience more of that, okay? You've manifested it, it's on the table. I'm really feeling it. So guys, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time.